Hi, we're out in the Cypress Hills at uh, Battle Creek. What a beautiful spot this is. It's one of the uh, creeks that has trout in it and I've got uh, my fly rod today. And it's my fly rod from over 30 years ago and a few old flies that I could muster up and uh, come out here on a whim here. We just planned this trip real fast. And as you can see, we've got some beautiful water right here on the Battle Creek. We've got a nice area where there's some uh, faster water going through a narrow stretch here and there's a riffle happening there and uh, a lot of oxygen being pumped into the water and we've seen uh, a couple of fish uh, come up. This is uh, one place you want to come and try to fish. I just saw one rise right in front of me which is a really good sign. So something's hatching which is probably a blue wing olive and unfortunately I don't have that pattern. But let's try here. So there is a hungry fish right there. Let's see how hungry he is. Oh, and I got him. Oh, I lost him. Man, I had him. That guy just won't stay on. We found this nice little hole here on Battle Creek. This technique is uh, just a drift technique. And all I'm doing is just casting and letting the fly drift into the water with the current. And then I pull it back towards me. And then just let's settle and bring it in slowly. There he is. That did work, that technique. So I'm using a hand technique, you can see, rather than the reel. It's a brook trout. It's got the spots on it. It's a little brooky. We've gone a little upstream from where we were. And uh, we're just adjacent to a campground here. We're going to try this little hole here. You can see the oxygen being created in that part of the water. And it drops off. It's deep here. There should be some uh, aquatic insects. And actually, this is probably one of the deeper holes. It looks like it could be four or five feet deep. So there should be some fish in here. The problem is it's going to be very challenging casting. <laughs> I'm in the willows again. So again, we'll just roll it out and see what kind of a drift we get. And you can see the fly. We'll cast near the wood. Wood's always a good shelter. Makes the fish feel safe. Oh, and there he is, right by the wood. And that's a big one. There we go, I got one, I got a big one here. This is a rainbow. So now we'll just have to land him. Look at that, that's a wild rainbow. Beautiful color, look at it. Looks like a, a male as well. So we'll just bring him in and then let him go real quick here. Got a big brown that was feeding in front of us. I haven't seen him for a couple of minutes, so I'm not sure if he's still there. Probably he is. He's just uh, having supper. And I think George is telling me that he can see him, so I don't know. I have to stalk him. There he is there. So I'm going to just move upstream a little bit. Keep low. He's on that side now. Holy my gosh. There's definitely big fish feeding in this spot. There's no cover for the fly. It's just drifting aimlessly in the pretty calm water. It's like a frickin' nuclear bomb. We've uh, fished uh, four spots in the park and one spot out of the park. This spot was spectacular, and although we didn't catch any, it was uh, quite nice to see, and they were uh, swimming around having a great time. So uh, I enjoyed myself, and thanks to my brother for bringing me out here with his camera, and what a blast it was. So hopefully next time I come out here, I'll be ready. I'll have all my equipment, and these trout will be a little more cooperative. But Wow, October 2014 and we're out fly fishing, who would have thought? So, Battle Creek, bye bye. <laughs>